Okay, now we are going to use our knowledge of the trace determinant plane to analyze a specific system or a specific set of systems. For this problem, let's let the matrix A be the following matrix. A, A, 1, 0. Let's say you've been running experience trying to figure out how a system of two uh, variables works over, revolves over time. And you see that the x variable depends exactly the same, has the same dependence on x and y. So that's why we have a and a there. And then the y variable doesn't depend on y at all, but only on the value of x. Yes. All right. So this is the system. Uh, dx dt is equal to ax plus ay and dy dt is equal to x, right? And we uh, want to figure out what are the possible scenarios for what the solutions are going to like li look like depending on a. As A changes, what are the solutions going to look like? Well, we're going to use our trace and determinant to figure this out. The trace of the matrix A is the sum of the diagonal A and 0. So the trace of A is just A. The determinant of A is equal to, let's see, it's A times 0, which is 0, minus 1 times a. So it's negative a. So here the trace, t, is a, and the determinant, d, is minus a. So now let's draw our trace determinant plane. Right, this is the trace. This is the determinant. And if the trace is a, and the determinant is minus a, then as a varies, we're going to move along this line. This is the line with slope negative 1. And then, of course, what matters here is this parabola there. So this is the parabola t squared over 4 equals d. Okay, so here we see there's three important points where the value of A will determine or change the value of the, the system, okay? At here, we cross this parabola, and then we move along the straight line. Here, we cross from D being positive to negative, and, and then here. So there's three regions. When A is positive, we'll have certain behavior. When A is negative but larger than negative 4 will have other behavior and then when a is less than negative 4 we'll have a third possible behavior when a is positive okay that's over here along this line this line with slope negative 1 this is positive a why is this the line because we have the traces a and the determinant is minus a. So I'm plotting the line minus a here. So along this line, this corresponds to a being positive. And in our trace and determinant plane, these were saddles. So we will have a saddle behavior for our solutions when a is positive. Now, when a is between negative 4 and 0, then we have our solution here above the parabola. And remember, above the parabola corresponds to complex eigenvalues. And on this side, in fact, it corresponds to a sink. So this is a spiral sink. When a is less than negative 4, that corresponds to this line here. If we continue it, and here we're below the parabola. Below the parabola on the left side corresponds to a sink type behavior. So depending on the value of A, we're either going to get a saddle, a spiral sink, or a sink. Now, if you're doing experiments and you know you, you estimate your A is about 2, then you know definitely you're going to have a saddle behavior. If you estimate your A is about negative 2, 
you know you're going to have a spiral sink. And if you estimate your A is about negative 8, you know you're going to have a sink. That's going to be the, the type of situation that your system is going to evolve over time with. However, if you're estimating your A and your answer is very close to 0 or very close to negative 4, you want to be extremely careful because you are at a bifurcation situation. You don't know, unless you're very careful about exactly what value of A you want to use, whether you're going to end up with a saddle or a spiral sink. That would, that would matter if A was very close to 0. You'd be choosing between these two. Or if A was very close to negative 4, you'd be choosing between a sink and a spiral sink. So if you're running an experiment and trying to model, you need to be very careful if your A values are going to be close to 0 or negative 4. Those are the important points where the behavior will change. So this, is, this was an example about using the trace determinant plane to discuss the behavior of a system where we have a single parameter changing, this A.